Welcome again. Right now we're at John chapter 14, verse 12. And this is a big one, okay? This is a wonderful, wonderful verse here. You know, I can't really say I have any favorites, but, you know, this is getting pretty close. This verse says a lot, and that's why I'm doing a teaching on this one verse alone. Jesus said, you can do, you can do what he did. Let's read it. These are the words in red, by the way. These are the words of Jesus, verse 12. Most certainly I tell you, again, Jesus speaking here, most certainly I tell you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. <sighs> okay. I got to stop there for a second because it's just, this is really, really powerful. Jesus said, most certainly, I tell you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. Think about the works that he did. I mean, he preached the word with great boldness and great conviction. He preached righteousness. He condemned sin. He confronted hypocrisy. He confronted the religious hypocrisy. He testified that the deeds of the world were evil, according to John chapter 7, verse 7. He healed the sick miraculously. He multiplied the food. He raised the dead. Think about these things. He controlled the weather. He said, the works that I do, he didn't just say it. He, he emphatically stated it, okay? Actually, in the original language, I'm pretty sure he probably started by saying, Amen, Amen, which means most certainly, most certainly, truly, truly, I tell you, if you believe in me, the works that I do, you will do also. So we see here there is a condition. He who believes in me, he didn't say anybody can do it. He said, he who believes in me. This is exactly the same phrase when he talked about people who are getting saved. And, and you know, people today, Christians, pastors, church leaders, they really downplay. They really water down what it really means to really believe in Jesus, okay? Now, to really believe in Jesus if you look in the original context and actually even the original Greek, it means to give your life over to. It means to entrust your life to him, okay? It means, you know, I'm, I'm totally throwing my life upon Jesus. I'm not doing anything of myself. I'm not doing anything on my own. I am completely entrusting myself to him, and I am hanging on his every word, that's what it means. It means obedience, okay? The word believes in the original Greek is the same word. It is synonymous with the word obedience. It means you hang on every word that he says. You make it, I mean, you become one with him. You become one with his word. You believe in him to the point where you say, I just... I completely allow the word to be absorbed in me and I, I allow myself to be consumed by the word, okay? To be completely given over to Jesus. That's what it means to believe in him, okay? Jesus said, if you believe in him like that, the works that he does, you will also do. What an amazing promise. But that's not the entire verse. Let's continue. He goes on to say here, and he will do greater works than these because I am going to my father. <laughs> I mean, what can be greater than controlling the weather, than multiplying just a few pieces of bread and a few fish to thousands of people? Raising the dead. What can be greater than that? The sky's the limit, okay? Jesus said, if you believe in him, and let me add, this is the same faith that saves you. If you don't have the faith 
that will enable you to do what Jesus did, you won't have the faith to save yourself from hell. I mean, that's just the way it is. It's the same phraseology. It's the same book. It's the same, it's the same Greek phrase here. Okay? You have to completely believe in Jesus. Now, there's a lot of people when you talk to them about Jesus, they may say, well, only Jesus can do that. Only Jesus can do this. Only Jesus can do that. Well, only Jesus can do that. Not the truth at all. If you say only Jesus can do, look at the works that he did, you, you say only Jesus can do that. You're calling him a liar because he said, you can do the works that I do and greater than these because I go to my father. What an awesome, awesome verse. That's something for you to meditate upon. That's something for all of us to meditate upon for a long time. As you go, may God just enrich this verse to you, encourage you, and strengthen you. Seek him, seek his face, and you will find him. Thanks again for listening.